guys are out here working hard, putting up the masonry. I don't see a single masonry tie on that wall. Those little metal hangy things that laterally brace this wall to keep it from falling forward. I don't see any of them installed on this wall. So I'm taking a quick drive around just to see what some of the uh, neighboring houses look like. And I saw this. Racking up here, they're putting up some brick and some stone. Masons working hard, albanilis. And I don't see any brick ties up there. Not a single one. All right, so this one is in process as well. Come on, thing. And not, I don't see any masonry ties here. Now, I can't believe that they'd just be, I mean, maybe they're just installing them as they go one at a time. Yeah, that's a possibility. Usually they're already up by the time the masons get started. All right, so you may be asking, what's the big risk if they install the brick or the masonry and they don't install the uh, the masonry ties, the brick ties? You don't have a lot of resistance against forward, uh, forward motion, falling forward. There's a gap. Here's the thing. There's a gap between an inch and, I don't know, three inches or so. I'd have to look at the code book to see exactly what the gap's supposed to be. But usually it's about an inch, an inch and a half between that masonry facade and the structural wall. Well, you can imagine what would happen if a tornado blew through here. All of a sudden, you've got this huge, essentially a gust of low pressure, this low pressure bomb that's flying by, and you've got this high pressure space in that gap. And what's going to happen is high pressure is going to want to move to low pressure, and it's going to want to push that brick wall out. And I saw it happen last year, at the beginning of last year, or maybe it was uh, the year before, out in Round Rock, when they um, in Elgin, when they had those those tornadoes, it uh, you saw quite a few brick walls that just got pushed out. So it's it's code, it's it's essential. They got to be in there. Shoot, man, here I am goofing off, showing you all around. I'm gonna end up being late for my morning job. Well, yeah, it's gonna take a little bit longer than I had expected to get where I'm going. Oh, maybe not. All right, so I'm just finishing up the reinspection that I had out here. Um, I'm gonna drive around the neighborhood, see if I can find some houses under construction that have those brick ties installed so that I can show you an example of, of what I'm looking for. I was just walking out to my car and I found one. Just happened to be right there. That is a brick tie. So they nail, they nail this end up to the wall and they just fold it over when they're putting the brick on and they cement it in what's up all right so there are quite a few places under construction around here a lot of final inspections but there's still some jobs that we may be able to see what's going on there's those guys moving on up man making progress he's trucking He's doing it, man, little by little. About time to have to get up on that next set of scaffolding. No brick ties. Nary one. Stucco! They'll put masonry down below that. Stone, probably. There's another stucco. Be a nice little place. This one coming up. Looks like it's sheathed and everybody's favorite cardboard product little boxes ah there's brick ties right there that is what I'm oh this is great man hang on let me get out this looks like it's a different builder than the one that we were looking at before but here you can see they've come in with these brick ties this is what needs to be installed so you can imagine the brick goes on top of this masonry ledge and as it comes up this gets folded up depending on where the line of brick or where the line of brick is 
and uh, fits in between the courses, and that gives it it gives it that uh, strength, so it doesn't fall forward. So as they get up to there and uh, install the scaffolding, they'll go up and they'll install more brick ties. So I'm really happy to see that. Not all the houses are complete garbage, I guess. I just realized they've got this uh, little sidewalk that they've poured here at the driveway just to probably get up and uh, carry these heavy construction materials in. <laughs> That's pretty funny. I don't see that very often. Usually they just drive, plow right on through there and bust everything up. There's one being framed. Working hard on that one. Empty lot. Oh, here's one that looks like it is ready for a pour. Let's see if we can go take a quick look at this one real quick hopefully they won't yell at us so what you're seeing here is uh, post tension cables and these guys get stressed to about uh, 33,000 PSI sorry <laughs> PSI these guys get stressed to about 33,000 pounds uh, once the, sheet, the the concrete's been poured about a week 10 days afterwards and essentially this kind of turns this foundation to a tennis racket which helps uh, prevent differential settlement these are great because these can actually be replaced inside the foundation after it's been poured one thing I'm seeing here is that these ends are supposed to have three quarters of an inch of clearance from the form just like this one does so that they don't uh, they don't show through the edge of the foundation after they pull these forms off things start to rust and that can damage the anchorage over time they've got the three reinforcement bars in here at the inside corner i like to see that another one over there one two three that's good those inside corners can be real weak so it's good to have that reinforcement here you've got the simpson strong tie strap so they've got it uh, minimum half inch away from the foundation. Oh shit, they've got it in backwards. Oh, <laughs> they've got this in backwards. This this that angles uh, to the outside is supposed to be angling inside. Ooh, shame, shame, shame. See, you gotta be able to read what it says there. That says, uh, shows you where the embedment line is. <clears throat> oh damn. Yeah, they did the same thing here, man. They put these in backwards. Oof. That's supposed to be angled toward the fat part of the foundation, not the skinny edge. Well, not my house, man. Not the job I was hired to do either. It's a shame. I don't know who uh, who's in charge of the site, but that'd be a good thing to check out. You know, I'm gonna take a look at that other strap that's way over there on the other side, just for shits and giggles. All right, so this is on the back side. Let's take a quick look at this strap here. Yeah, it's done right. This is how it's supposed to look with that embedded portion facing that direction in the foundation. So that's that's good. So this, of course, is not a proper inspection. I'm not even it's not even my my job that I'm working on here today. But uh, just thought I'd swing by and take a quick look, show y'all some of the things that we're seeing out here in Central Texas, baby. Yeah, we got a whole row of them here, working hard. That one's going up. Let's go take a quick look at this one over here. Looks like they got some issues with some underlayment on the roof. Well, that's a big house, man. Looks like they might have to do a little bit of a uh, little bit of touch up there before a little bit of touch up before they go up with the rest of the shingles. I don't know why they didn't do the rest of the shingles. Why well, they just kind of stopped there on that one plane? But um, it's been super windy out here, so I'm not surprised to see that. Oh, I hope they replace that and don't just nail it back down. Please, please don't just nail that back down. You don't want to put up underlayment that's got rips and tears in it. Shoot, man. Looks like a pickup truck convention out here. I know my little Camry's not invited. We're gonna keep on going. A little leftover from the ice storm we had a couple weeks ago. 
working on that, getting it ready for the pour, bunch of plumbers. Oh, check it out, man. Here they are installing brick ties. Y you know what? I might try to go talk to them and see what they say about uh, the use and installation of these. Mira, estoy haciendo un pequeño video, solo hablando un poquito de, de la construcción. ¿Está bien si hablamos como dos minutos? ¿O oh, está ocupado? Tranquilo. Ah, bueno, sí. sigue. Bueno, tranquilo, gracias. Ándale. Ok. Nope, said no. So I'm guessing that those guys just came from this house. This is right next door to where they were working. And you can see that they've got the brick ties installed uh, about as high as they can reach, which is a great start. Let's, uh, there's another one over here. Let's take a quick look at this one. Yep, sure enough. They got the brick ties there too. Oh man, thank goodness. Before they go up with that, uh, that stone. Okay, so this builder seems to be on the ball. Happy to see that. Here we go. So over here, they're doing a little bit of masonry work. Looks like that far side hasn't been completed yet. Let's see if we can just take a peek, see how they're doing over here. Let me pull up on these dudes, and see what it looks like. Have they got masonry ties? Yes, there's one right there. There's one right there, that little tiny, that's one right there, there he is. There's one, it's a great start. All right, so coming up on this wall, here's what they look like inside you can see you can see the brick ties that have been installed across there jefe como se llama esto en español como es Montaigne. Montaigne. Montaigne se llama como este. Lámina. Lámina. Ah, ok. Montaigne, ok. Now you know what they call in Spanish. So there you go. There's a bit of a tour of some of the neighborhood here where they're doing a lot of work. Man, a lot of work. In two years, this whole place is going to be built up and full of little short brand new trees <clears throat> kids running around playing and people complaining about their builders because they cut corners and didn't do what they should have done lots of warranty claims you know the usual but man i'm doing all i can out here today I'm gonna head back into town and work on my afternoon job so in the meantime gonna head out and here's our boys right before we head out man making some progress got that other scaffolding up putting in the bricks blocks rocks whatever the hell they are I don't see any brick ties though yeah different crew different crew different standards I guess okay Got him working in there. I don't see any brick ties. But, c'est la vie. I hope that, uh, I hope that otherwise the house is built good. Built good. I hope that otherwise the house is built well. I hope that otherwise the house is in good shape.